USS Subarison was an Escambia-class fleet oiler converted to a water tanker, named for a chief of the neutral Indian nations which, although a part of the Iroquois Confederation, were called neutral by the French because they took no part in the wars of the Iroquois and Hurons. The area he governed included the oil fields of northwestern Pennsylvania and western New York. The knowledge of the oil seepages there was well known among the Indians, and it was declared neutral ground so all Indians could obtain oil for medicinal and domestic purposes without danger or interference. In 1627, Joseph de la Roche d'Ayon heard of the oil springs and made an expedition to visit them. He was kindly received by Chief Subarison, shown the oil seepages, and duly reported his observations to his superiors. These observations contributed largely to the interest in the petroleum resources of the Pennsylvania region. Subarison, was laid down as SS Mission Santa Ana on June 19, 1944 by Marinship Corporation of Sausalito, California as a Maritime Commission Type T2SE a two-tanker hull with a cargo capacity of 140,000 barrels, 22,000. M3, under Maritime Commission contract, launched on August 12, 1944, sponsored by Mrs. Andrew F. Carter, acquired by the Navy and commissioned on January 5, 1945 with Commander William H. Fogarty. USNR, in command. Subarison was then converted from a fleet oiler to a water supply ship. On 23rd of January, she moved to San Pedro, California to begin her shakedown cruise. Upon completion of shakedown and yard availability at San Diego she returned to San Pedro to top off fresh water and cargo. She sailed for Hawaii on 1st of March and reported at Pearl Harbor on 7th of March for duty with the service force, Pacific Fleet. She was routed onward to Aniwatok in the Marshall Islands, where, by the 30th, she had discharged over 3 million U.S. gallons of water to Navy ships. She then proceeded to Guam in the Mariana Islands to refill her tanks. Subarison sailed for Ulithi, Caroline Islands on 6 April where she was assigned to a task unit that was proceeding to Karamaretto, Nancy Shoto, arriving on 26 April. She remained there discharging fresh water and fog oil until 17 May when she joined a convoy back to Ulithi. From there she was routed to Manus in the Admiralty Islands. From 24 May to 1st of June, she loaded cargo, returned to Ulithi on the 2nd, sailed the next day with a convoy, and was back at Karamaretto from 7 to 15 June. From that day and through 24th of December, she made eight more voyages transporting fresh water between Karamaretto and Laon Bay, Samar in the Philippines. On December 25, 1945 Subarison moved to Hong Kong, and operated there until March 30, 1946 when she sailed for Mobile, Alabama via Pearl Harbor in the Panama Canal Zone. Subarison received one battle star for World War II service. Subarison arrived at Mobile on 17th of April and was decommissioned and returned to the War Shipping Administration in May 1946. She was reacquired by the Navy on February 19, 1948, delivered to Marine Transport Lines Incorporated, To be operated, under contract, for the Navy Transportation Service as Subarison. Control was transferred to the Military Sea Transport Service October 1, 1949 when she was redesignated USNS Subarison. Until 1955 she operated in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, calling at ports from Hamburg, Germany to Saudi Arabia and Pusan, Korea. On April 20, 1955 she was returned to the Maritime Administration and berthed at Beaumont, Texas with the National Defense Reserve Fleet. Subarison was returned to the Navy on July 6, 1956 and operated in the Atlantic by MSTS until December 30, 1958 when she was again placed in the Beaumont Reserve Fleet of the Maritime Administration. Her title was transferred to the Maritime Administration on April 1, 1961 and she was struck from the Naval Vessel Register on July 1, 1961. Subarison remained in the Beaumont Reserve Fleet until she was disposed of by a Murad Vessel Exchange on March 19, 1982. She was traded to the Faroe Lines along with three other vessels in exchange for the SS export banner. Faroe Lines immediately resold Subarison to a card and company. Marine, who then in turn sold the tanker to Interessources Incorporated. For further resale to Brownsville Steel and Salvage, Brownsville, Texas. Subarison was delivered to the scrapyard on April 5, 1982 and she was scrapped by July 30, 1982. This article incorporates text from the Public Domain Dictionary of American Naval Fighting Ships. Thanks for watching.